Hey everyone, so today we're back with a photo walk. Last week I got a chance to go out and test out this guy right here. I've been wanting to do this for a little while. It's a 10 millimeter f2.8 from Seven Artisans. It's a ultra wide fisheye lens and it is full manual. So that means manual focus, manual aperture. It gets some really unique perspectives and I've been wanting to test it out for a little bit. So I strapped on my DJI action and I went out for a little photo walk. After a little bit of using the 10 millimeter, I did switch to my 70 to 200. But before the day was over, I did end up switching back to get some more wide shots. So I'll throw those shots in at the end. Okay, so before we get into the video, uh, I wanna ask a couple of things. Your favorite photo from the whole day, go ahead and leave that in the comments with a timestamp and tell me why you like it or why you think it's the best. The second thing is make sure to hit the like button. It's literally the best thing you can do to help my channel grow and to help me as a creator. So I'd really appreciate if you did that. If you do enjoy the video, if you like any of the photos, hit the like button. And the third thing that I wanna ask you to do is this. Check me out on Instagram, send me a message or leave me a comment, say I found you from YouTube and then let's connect on there. So if you're a photographer or even if you're just interested in learning a little bit about it, I wanna definitely connect with you out there. So make sure to follow me on Instagram and also leave me a comment or shoot me a message so I know you found me from here. All right, let's get into the video. I'm gonna watch this thing with you guys. So right here, I'm just walking to meet up with my buddy David. I'll leave his Instagram handle on the screen as well. Go check him out, he's awesome. He's a really great photographer. What's up? How you doing? I'm good, how are you? You're good. I was, uh, I was, I like walked from down there. Yeah, exactly, so like, that's why they have this and it doesn't remove. But like, look how close it is to me. <laughs> like it focuses here, like this is the closest it'll focus. I wish I was recording during that part uh, when I was showing them how close the camera focuses because um, I was pointing the camera at the two of us. It does, but like I'm, I never, I never always feel like I'm not nailing it. I know, it, it, is, it is crazy. Like that's why I like it. Like this. Stuff. I always feel like I just need to go infinity on the menu, on the on the focus. Like so, you you're used to like the focus pulling and all that. My foot, the focus pull here is yeah, it's tighter. You know what I mean? Just doing some warm up shots. Nothing crazy. It's like the, the amount of stuff that you get. In, it's, it's, There's like nothing I like about this shot. Just it looked good to me with my, you know, with my natural focal range with my eyesight. But on this lens, it just didn't come out the way I thought it would. You have to. It's, it takes a little bit of practice to get an eye for composition with this thing because it's not natural at all. This is one of David's shots of me. Um, we were waiting for somebody to walk through and it was taking a little while, so I just walked across the street and walked through. And then he walked through mine. Here, 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 here. 
I really thought this shot was going to be cooler than it than it ended up being. Um, the shot's okay, but um, I, I don't know if it would have been better if I was closer to the person walking by. But the person walking by was pretty close to me. It just looks far away on the lens. Okay, let me get in there a little more. So right here is where I actually switched to my telephoto and that's what I was on until my battery died on my DJI action. Um, but I will show the rest of the wide angle shots that I took after my action died. Way, man. I do have to go over there. Let's, let's go. Oh yeah? Yeah, it is. Is it a lot? So basically what we were doing a lot of the time was we were chasing the sunlight because in the city the golden hour sunlight gets blocked by the buildings so we were we kept just going to spots where it was breaking through and then when we found a spot we liked we camped out there for a little bit um, not too long ever but um, that's pretty much how it went. Yeah, that looks good. I was looking at that too. I, I remember I sat down on this bench and then I kept waiting for people to walk by because I, um, I liked the shot and I got a couple. All right, this is about where my battery dies, but I am going to pop up those ultra wide pictures because so, when I did walk back to my car, I thought I was done for the day. And then I realized I wanted to get some more wide angle shots and test it out a little bit more. So let me know what you think. Remember to leave a comment and tell me which one's your favorite, all right? Um, if you have any questions about this wide angle lens, then leave those in the comments as well because I'm going to be making a full video reviewing it and showing you guys what the benefits are, what the uh, drawbacks are to the lens. It is a budget friendly lens and I think it's gonna be a cool option for a lot of you out there. This version that I have is an RF mount, but I know that Seven Artisans makes wide angle lenses for a bunch of different mounts. Uh, David is actually thinking about getting one for his Fuji. All right, here are the rest of them.